The Republican Party today just can't govern. Nancy Pelosi with a five vote majority, she was able to govern. The Democrats have become the party of discipline and the Republicans have become the party that lacks discipline. We're going to get that Taylor Swift uh, question answered very soon. Michael Steele. Yes. I, I've said this from the very beginning. <laughs> it's just what Ari Fleischer said, which is everybody's like, oh, he only has a five vote majority. How in the world? He can't even make scrambled eggs and toast with a five vote majority. He can't even walk his dog. He can't take basic breath. He can't, like, all these things he can't do because he's got a five vote majority. Nancy Pelosi won seven NBA championships in a row. <laughs> the five she scaled. Majority. She scaled Everest. She she threw out the first pitch of, of, of like the 2022 World Series, and it was so good they then had her pitch the entire complete game. Game seven. We'll five vote majority. That's it. With and by the way, you know how you knew something was going to pass. When Nancy put it on the floor, if Nancy put it that's on the it. floor. That's and that's what I said yesterday. Yep. Everybody's going to make this harder than it is. Politics comes down, down to people and it comes down, it comes down to, to, to personalities and building relationships yep. and it comes down to planning. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. It, like, what idiot would ever put a vote on the floor <laughs> that they knew they were going to lose? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin McCarthy? Unless, well, unless they really wanted to make a stupid point, and that's when you would do something like that. The, 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 this, Ari's right um, in that in order to govern, you got to have a governing philosophy. You've got to have a purpose, a reason uh, to move the country from where it is to some place you think is better. And you have to be able to express that openly and honestly with voters um, and be able to do the politics, which is what you're talking about, which is what Nancy did. Nancy knew where her votes were. She knew where they weren't. And she knew how much of what she didn't have she needed to get. And by the she way, it wasn't go. always easy with her. No, you it wasn't early easy. No. On when the squad came on and they no. were saying we're the real progressives exactly. and you're not the but progressives. She shut, but the thing, the yes. joke, but she yes. shut it down. Yes. She, she controlled she, it. She yes. did. Remember when they were saying green, you know, are you going to support the green, whatever it was, the green yeah. new deal? She goes, what? What's a, what what's green, a new, green deal? new deal? What? I don't. She didn't allow herself to be pushed in the corner. She also didn't say bad things about members of her caucus. That they worked it out behind closed doors. And, that's, and she that's the difference. delivered on what she promised. That's that it. was the other yeah. thing. Is that that's time it. and again you hear of Kevin McCarthy from, I mean, that, why did Nancy Mace, who is not in that group of eight, she's yeah, well, I, I she still is I'm a, trying to figure that out. She, What's that all I, about? It seems to be t that's entirely personal. Is that well, trust I can tell you what, I can tell you what it's about. Crisis. I can tell you at the, while, while all that's happening. You, you say it's an, an identity for crisis? For, for, like, who is Nancy Mace? One day, one day she's truth teller. The next day she's like, Mrs. Gay. Like, what, what, Depends who, on who how much she? money she wants to raise. I, I don't know. I, I, the profile I've been working on her has been languishing because I, I, <laughs> I've been having figuring, figuring that out. But that, again, this, but it's yeah. just part of it is about these personal relationships that you're talking about. A lot of these, some of these people who voted against McCarthy, it's like he just he treated them badly. They they felt as right. as hard done by as Democrats. But I come back to it with Pelosi. The thing that this whole conversation comes back to, which is something we talked about yesterday on the air. One word: strength. You can't lead a fractious caucus if you seem weak. If you give, if you project that you can be pushed around and that you can be had. McCarthy started his tenure by saying basically, Matt Gates is gonna, I'm gonna give my 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 put my Matt Gates put my balls in his pocket for uh, for the rest of the for the hour long I'm speaker. Nancy Pelosi never projected anything other than strength with. Anybody who was fractious in her causes, if the moderates well, were, it, were about it's to a, stray, it's a combination. she would lean on them. Right. If the, yeah. with the squad went straight astray, she leaned on them. And yes, she also was, she worked personal relationships behind the scenes, but out in front, she was like, I will not be pushed around by right. anybody in my caucus. You can't lead that kind of caucus and, if you, and, if you and look Michael, like you're a sitting duck. Right. And right. Michael, Michael, that's the thing. You First of all, you lead with strength publicly, yep. and you say, I can't do that. And then you go to them, and you say... I mean, this is not hard, kids. If you want to get into politics, <laughs> easiest job I've ever had. You go to them and go, listen, I can't do that. All right, I know you need it. I can't do that. But tell me what else I can do for right. you. Right. And it may be two or three or four things. Or maybe I'm just, 
I'm beholden to you for, for the rest of this session, and I'm going to be working for you around the clock, but I can't do what you're asking me to do. It breaks up the conference. It doesn't work, and we got to get this bill on the floor. You give me this vote, and I know it doesn't feel great. I'll go to your district right. if you need me to explain it to you. I'll give you two or three more things. We'll announce an unveiling in your district of something I can get the conference to do, and that's how we can work it. That's how the pros do it. They don't just tell a member, you know, I have your whatever in my pocket, or they, they, you don't insult me. It's, it's a, you're constantly working them. And that's what I don't understand about Kevin McCarthy. You knew this train was coming for months. And, well, so, and he just sat there like he was in an Austin Powers movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I think part of it was he, he thought that he could avoid some of it. I think he thought that there would probably be more members in the caucus who would have his back. Uh, and to John's point, because he failed on those other fronts in terms of building those relationships and, and creating... But you have whip create, counts. He knew they weren't going to be you, on you his side. You have the whip counts, but the, uh, again... It's all about how you come into the game. He came in the game wrong. He came into the room the wrong way. He left. He gave all the power to one or two individuals. Right. So, so what do you set the so tenor what do you do tone then? of so his, what do you do his then? You start working not to make it caddy sound too easy, but what you do if you know you're starting with a disadvantage, you work it to an advantage, and you you're working 24 hours a day, going, okay, what do I do? I know these three people are going to go after me any chance I can get. I need to talk to Hakeem. I need to get three or four Democrats to vote president on anything. I'll do a quiet deal with him that my conference will never know about. And then I'm going to work everybody else around those people and turn my adversaries into allies or at least make them neutral. I mean, that's the sort of stuff he could have done. That's what Nancy would have done. It's what Tip O'Neill would have done. Yeah, you build yourself a ring of defense by figuring out what can I give them that they need. And you do it right from the beginning and see if there's a way that you can find some kind of majority that's going to support you when you know that that motion to vacate is going to come, because it is going to come, because Matt Gates yeah. had made it clear right from the beginning it was going to come. I mean, I guess the, only, the difference between the squad and this gang of eight is that the majority of that gang of eight uh, are nihilists when it comes to government. They right, have right. no interest in making it work, whereas that's right. not true of the squad. I mean, those they came from the progressive wing of the Democratic Party, but they didn't want to blow up the institution of government. They were not interested in government failing because they want to prove to their voters that government doesn't work and shouldn't be funded. Yeah.